when should you change your DSG oil on your gearbox? Well, if I tell you, there is a whole lot of different stories at when and what oil you should use, which ones need to be changed, and uh, the list is quite long on the variations of the DSG gearboxes. So today I'm going to talk about this Polar GTR behind me, which has what they call a dry clutch gearbox. This Polo has got a clutch kit and a flywheel and then it selects gears through a hydraulic actuator that presses the two different clutches and then selects the gear. The other type of DSG gearbox is a wet clutch gearbox. That gearbox has got clutches inside the gearbox and those clutches run in oil. So there is a difference between the two gearboxes and obviously the servicing of those gearboxes is quite different. The first gearbox that I'm going to concentrate on is the one that comes in this car, which would be a similar gearbox to the old DQ200. So on that gearbox, it has got two different fluids inside of it. It has gearbox oil, which is a standard gearbox oil. It takes about two to two and a half liters of normal gearbox oil for a manual gearbox. Then on the front of the gearbox, there is a control unit called a Megatronic. Inside that Megatronic is also some oil, but that is hydraulic oil. That oil is used to pressurize the little uh, solenoids in order to change the gears and to press the clutches. So it is advisable, maybe every 100,000 kilometers, you should change that oil. On the wet clutch gearboxes, on the other hand, the clutches are inside the gearbox. Those gearboxes have generally got a large quantity of oil that is for the whole gearbox. They would call it DSG oil. So on those DSG models, you have to change the oil periodically. Because what happens is that the clutches, as they are wearing, they leave deposits that go into the oil. It's very similar to the design of a motorbike clutch. But now on the DSG models that usually come in the bigger engines, for example, the GTRs and the TDRs, those gearboxes should have the oil changed approximately every 60,000 kilometers. The oil that it takes is about six to seven liters and it has a filter that you are supposed to change. Guys also asked me about the four wheel drive models and yes, in the four wheel drive models, there's even more oils to change because some of them have got a front transfer case that has got its own oil and then you would have a rear differential oil and in some of the cases Haldex oil for the rear diff. So if you have a car that is a, a DSG or a S-Tronic model, you want to make sure that you are aware of when your oils were last changed. This is one of those things where preventative maintenance can save you a lot of money in the future. So if this video is uh, appealing to you and you want me to make any other videos on any other topic that's car related, hit me up in the comment section and until next time, a red line out.